Welcome everyone to another video. In today's video, I've got a lot to show you. So let's just get straight into it. Bedroom one, two and three. We'll put a quick transition in to show you what they're looking like, just because there's nothing major that's happened. In terms of the flooring, we're waiting for the carpet to arrive. Going for a, like, a bit of a darker sort of gray, just to break up the white with the floor, as everything in the upstairs is basically white. And in terms of the doors, we haven't put them up yet, but they're also just gonna be a nice, plain, simple white doors. So let's head on into the master bedroom and show you the ensuite. Let's not trip over anything here. The one thing that we have been waiting on for some time now, we've finally completed it now. Just got the door to do. So have a little look. Let me know what you guys think. Looking around, you can see, of course, the flooring. We've gone for that gray sort of look. Similar style as the downstairs, of course, just to keep that modern theme about it. Toilet, of course, we've gone for the soft closing. Not much difference in price, so we thought, why not go for that? Sink, standard, nothing special. We'll try to get a mirror in here, maybe a nice light, but you'll probably see the full update in the next video. So in the living room now, you can see all the walls have been painted. Pretty much every room has now been painted. I've only said that any more times, but You'll see with the flooring, we haven't picked out the flooring yet. We'll pick that hopefully today or tomorrow. In terms of the color, we will sort of go for the same sort of color scheme as the kitchen flooring, which you'll see in a second, just to let it flow through nicely throughout the property. Other than that, you'll see with the, all the electric, all the plug sockets have not yet been put in, but in the next coming days, probably in the next video, you'll see that all put up. So let's go straight into the kitchen now and show you the real deal. So welcome to the kitchen. Finally, this is probably the most talked about thing I have throughout this whole property. If you can remember from start to finish, there was a huge wall that was covering all this. This is all knocked down, finally opened it, make it look really nice and spacious. So as you can see in terms of the color scheme, we've gone for something called a dove gray, as they call it, which is a bit of a glossy finish, just because it's something that gives it more of that luxury, modern feel to it. And in terms of the tabletop, we've gone for a darker color just because the flooring and the color of the kitchen itself has that light feature to it we thought break it up nicely and just stick to a nice black tabletop so in terms of the cupboards you'll see inside we've gone for that two-tone sort of look where the inside has that oak sort of look to it if you want to say and of course the outside is the dove gray it just makes it look custom in a way where we have chosen that specifically which we did but it's just something different to the rest of the properties, you see. And over here, you'll see we've sort of broken up again the kitchen with the sink over here with, of course, just storage space under it. Just again, because there wasn't much space on your side of the kitchen. So we thought, why not just open it up a little bit? Let people wash their hands here while someone's cooking over there. Maybe if they want to add a small dining table over here. But yeah, kitchen's come along really nicely. And again, minor bits need doing and other than that we'll be there so follow me into the bathroom as you'll see pretty much finished as well we're really coming into the latter stages of the property first of all the flooring we've had that go throughout the bathroom to the kitchen sink stuck to nice simple white nothing crazy nothing out there just because it's my first property as you know so i thought let's just stick to the mutual colors and then sooner or later in the future we'll switch it up a little bit so again the toilet we've got a soft closing i don't have to show you that but yeah, just that extra little feature. When a new tenant walks in, they'll see stuff like that and they'll point, they'll definitely point stuff like that out. But in terms of the bath itself, probably the most impressive part to me, I think bath itself just fits in perfectly. You've got that all open space in the bathroom and you don't see this much space in a bathroom usually, but we've kept the space, we've separated everything out and I think we couldn't have done a better job. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but just before I finish up, I just want to point out, some of you have been asking in the last video about the garden. That has not yet been done. It will hopefully happen next video, just because I'm, that's all separate, and I'll talk about that in another video. But you can somewhat see it behind me. It's still a bit of a wreck, but that will definitely be done sooner or later. It's probably my least important thing I need to do just because the inside is probably more appealing than the garden. Other than that, it's been me, Harold, aka Hanks. Don't forget the name. I'll catch you in the next video.